Okay, what I have here is just uh, an electrolysis setup with a PWM. And um, what's different about this setup um, is the water is circulating. This tube up here, it actually all goes all the way down to here, comes down into this reservoir. There's a small fishbowl pump in here. It's only like a 3 watt pump or, or well, it's definitely under 10. It's pretty small. I have to look at the box. Forces the water out through here into this tube. This tube is filled with permanent magnets, pretty much the strongest ones I could find. Um, and they're just parallel, like parallel to each other. There's, you know, a positive side and a negative side, um, or north and south, if that's what you want to call it. Um, anyway, it's forced through here into the bottom of the cell. And I basically blocked everything off, so it has to uh, go through the tube set. You can't go around it. I'm sure I have some leakage, but um, I'll just uh, disregard that for now. Unfortunately, this is leaking down here, so I have to put this towel here. I don't really have time to fix it. I'm going back to school in, uh, in a day or two, so everything's going to be packed away for a few months. Anyway, we'll get to it. I have this uh, set up already, should be pushing about 10 volts, so we'll just turn the power on so I don't have to uh, mess around with this stuff at all. It's starting to produce slowly, hopefully you can see that. There's uh, four of these outlets, these small holes here producing. So some good production, we're pushing about 10 volts, almost 11 volts. Now we will turn it off, let this uh, kind of clear up here so you can see the difference. I will turn the pump on. Okay, ready to go. So now the pump is on, turn the power back on. quite a bit of a difference. Uh, hopefully you can see this on this video. It's kind of impressive in real life. Um, look how fast that has just fogged up compared to the last test. My, I'm still making videos on my phone so it might be sort of out of focus. Anyway, I've done some measurements on this and I believe that the pump is just forcing the hydrogen and oxygen out of the cell. So your efficiency is improved because um, you're getting all that uh, all that gas out of there as quickly as possible. I will give you a link to where I actually talk about the results. Um, they were sort of impressive for me anyway. Not that this is you know over unity or something, but it's kind of cool. I haven't noticed any results from this magnetization tube here, but I haven't really done any measurements since I started using it. So. Uh, I'll make another video, do some more tests with this setup um, when I have time, probably in a few months when I have a break from school. Thanks for watching. Bye.